Good morning everyone. So I'm just on a walk here with Claire as well as Layla. And Layla right now, she has Dodger's old harness on. Quite big on her and loose. I might have to try to adjust it a few times as we're going on the walk to get it more of a comfort level for her. But yeah, she has on Dodger's old one. That's why you kind of see it moving there back and forth. Again, once we get further along, I will adjust it. And she will be getting her own harness very soon. It's just we dropped a lot of money on walking gear the other day. So we're going to just wait a little bit and buy some more for the dogs. Good girl, Layla. Good girl, Claire. This video here is going to be about what is a Gerberian Shepsky. And if you're not aware, four of our puppies that are in house that we did keep, three from the first litter, one from the second, we have the three girls from the first, Layla, Claire, and Ariel. And then in the second, we have Dodger. They're all Gerberian Shepsky puppies. And that's pretty much a crossbreed of two very intelligent breeds that are most popular for the possession of highly desirable qualities and other attractive characteristics. And this of course will be the German Shepherd and the Siberian Husky. When it comes to this breed of dog, they actually get personality traits that are from both parents, the German Shepherd as well as the Husky, which is absolutely amazing. So it's almost like rolling the dice when the puppies are born, are you going to get more like mom or are you going to get more personality traits like dad? Sometimes you get a mix of both, sometimes one more so over the other, depending on what gene is the most dominant. Stop pulling. Yes, you're in some system. Also, it is commonly referred to as a designer dog or hybrid dog due to the fact that it originates from both a German Shepherd and a Husky. They are some of the best breeds known to men despite being a crossbreed. And the other thing is a lot of our puppies, they do go to police officers. They also become personal assistant dogs in regards to special needs. The Gerberian Shepsky is loyal, it's social, it's alert, it's also very intelligent. They also get along with almost everyone. And this of course also is if they are appropriately socialized because a lot of mixed dogs, and this isn't just for the Gerberian Shepsky, this is for countless mixed dogs they do tend to have a little bit higher when it comes to anxiety so that is something you do have to be aware of they are a little bit more anxious and can be more on alert and this is why keeping them in social activities or keeping them engaged in social outings or just being around other people it's very crucial and very important because the longer you go with keeping them isolated the more anxious they will become and the more they will have their back up against the wall when it comes to other dogs other people and other animals now a gerberian shepsky or some people refer it to just the shepsky it is a medium to large type of dog it can have the height from 20 to 25 inches and a weight from 45 to roughly 90 95 pounds this of course depends on the diet, their environment, overall well-being of the dog. The average lifespan is approximately 7 to 14 years. This breed is therefore ideal for those who are looking for an emotional and physical commitment in a dog. And this breed is just ideal for somebody who's looking for the traits of a German Shepherd, but also some of the traits of a Husky as well. If you watched some of our videos you would have noticed the many different colors and even the girls here that i'm walking now in their coats they can come in a variety of colors the most common being black brown with black other varies include blue red white cream brown brown with white pepper salt and gray light brown golden it's unreal the number of combinations of coats these dogs can have it's absolutely beautiful so wonderful and unique i absolutely love the different colors in the shepsky breed it's just oh my goodness to me it's so breathtaking and beautiful a gerberian shepsky they have straight haired double coat that can be long short dense or medium the coat is generally thick with the fluffy like appearance the inner coat generally contains thick and soft hair. 
Being Arctic dogs, the double coat provides much needed protection from overly hot and cold weather conditions. Its ears are usually pointy and so is the muzzle. The skull at times, not always, resembles that of a German Shepherd or that of a Siberian Husky. You either get one or the other. The eyes at times can be either brown, blue, one blue, one brown, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend a Shepsky in a very hot place. If you live somewhere hot, not a great breed to have, and if you do have it or you plan to get it and you're in a very warm climate area, just be aware and be cautious when having them outdoors in higher temperatures. I do highly, highly recommend this breed for those who have families. To me, they're great family dogs, great protectors of the household. They're just overall outstanding. They're extremely gentle. They're calm temperament. But a lot of people fear because of its daunting muscular build and how it's a little bit mixed with the German Shepherd and even sometimes even the Siberian Husky that it's a more vicious dog. And to be 100% honest, I do keep a lot of communication with those who've adopted. They have no issues. A lot of our dogs do tend to go to families, especially young families, not an issue. With us personally, we have six in house. Well, four that are Shepskis, and then we have the mom and the dad. We have, so in total, six larger dogs of no issues. We've had no complaints about it or them being aggressive towards any other children, any other people. It boils down to how the dog ended up being brought up, how they're taught, how they're trained, and if the training is taught early enough, well enough, them adapting, they're feeding off of their owner's energy or even people who are around. It might not necessarily be you. You might be leaving your dog out in the yard one day, not realizing there's somebody that walks by that is steady taunting and tantalizing their dog that starts a little bit of an aggressive tendency. It could be a number of factors, but in terms of these dogs starting out as more aggressive type dogs no i do not believe that i would totally recommend these as family friendly dogs the best thing about this breed too to me they're a working companion of humans to assist in so many various tasks it is classified in the working and herding category for dogs the shepsky possesses such an ability to react to verbal commands whistles obedience training with these dogs i find remarkable we have a sh little Shih Tzu mix, and let me tell you, the training with him was a lot more time consuming, took a lot longer. These, oh my goodness, the Shepskis, totally amazing, totally remarkable, trainability time, just how well they listen. Their ability to be trained to a level of modified herding behavior, for example, it, it's just absolutely sensational. I can't get over how the training with this type of breed is just mesmerizing. And training minimizes the risks and potential hazards that can happen to either someone else or your dog. So to me, it's crucial to have that down and it's crucial to have an animal that is so well able to adapt and know their commands and learn very, very easily. And that for sure is the Shepsky breed. A lot of these dogs too end up coming from dogs trained in the rugged wilderness and also recommend it as a police dog. It goes without saying that this dog, Shepsky, is brilliantly smart. And why I think police officers do tend to reach out to us in terms of making sure that they're on the list to adopt one of the Shepsky breeds because where they are so highly trainable and just very intelligent. But yes, like I was saying, their strength, their obedience, their trainability, their intelligence, it just makes for such a perfect choice for so many people when it comes to owning a pet. Their work ethic is amazing. They're great for search and rescue. They're great for police operations. They're even great for other military roles or medical roles. And the Shepskis are typically famous for, like I said, they're intelligent. It's a trait which appeals to a lot of owners and breeders as a whole. They have the ability to learn simple tasks after a few repetitions and obey within first given command most often than that. And this is a characteristic that they borrowed from the German Shepherds. Together with their strength, these dogs are desirable. The other thing to keep in mind though, they are extremely active dogs and they are very eager to, to learn. They are curious in nature. It makes them excellent guards and scouts, if not rightfully socialized. Shepskis can be overly protective, like I stated earlier, of their territory and of their family. And this is why socialization is very, very important with this type of breed. It is good to note they are also not 
programmed to become immediate friends with strangers. And this goes back to when I mentioned about them having anxiety and why you have to make sure you again socialize them because a lot of mixed breed dogs do suffer from a little bit of anxiety. They're also very faithful to their master or owner or whatever you wish to refer yourself to. They also remain faithful and loving to children as well. But thank you so much for watching. That's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and we're going to sign out now. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye now.